Happy Tuesday to you, Shenandoah, and I'm so glad that you're joining uh, me by way of this Facebook Live. I hope you look forward to this each week. I know I do. Just a little bit of a way to connect uh, with you and see how everybody is doing. Please feel free to comment or uh, any questions or, or uh, concerns or prayer requests, anything you'd like to, to comment on this. Uh, let us know you're watching and maybe even on uh, replay. Uh, that would be, uh, would be awesome. Hey, tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, we have two very, very important uh, items that I want to uh, talk to you about. And I know if you've been listening, you've been uh, hearing these announcements, but uh, it's now upon us. Uh, tomorrow evening at 6.15, that'll be our second all-workers meeting. If you remember, we've moved our weekly Sunday school meeting to include every worker of every ministry. And again, the reason we're doing that is just because we're in this whole COVID environment, we're trying to rebuild and just want to get everybody on the same page. And so I have some things that are very, very important to share with you. So workers 615 in room 102. Now that meeting only goes 30 minutes. If you're a Sunday school teacher, get there just a tad early to grab your Sunday school lessons for the second quarter, okay? And then be ready uh, in your seat uh, there at 615. Then at 645, we'll uh, uh, dismiss that meeting and there'll be about a 15 minute turnaround and that's gonna prepare us for the seven o'clock workshop Wednesday. Now, something a little bit different than what we've done in times past. We are not going to start in the sanctuary. We want to get a few extra moments in every session. So we're going to start right at 7 o'clock in your locations. So what that means is, as we're getting out of room 102 for that all-workers meeting, the ladies are going to start filling in that, uh, that uh, room 102. So Mrs. Bain will meet with the ladies there. All the men, you're going to find your way to the sanctuary. Uh, obviously, the teenagers are going to go to room 206. That's the normal youth room. Pee Wee to your normal room. Patch uh, to your normal place, B400. And of course, the nurseries will be open also. I'm looking forward. Uh, I know what I have prepared in my heart uh, to uh, talk to the men about. And uh, uh, men, I want you to be there. Of course, I want everybody to be there. And, and just speaking of that, let me just kind of parenthesize to say what a great crowd on this past Sunday. There were folks who have not been there in months and months who came back. And I think they saw that it's a safe environment and it's a place where you want to be. Shenandoah is an exciting place and God surely is moving uh, in, uh, in our midst. Let me remind all the men too about the leadership conference this coming Saturday. If you have any questions about that, you can call into the church. Brother Hunter Kidwell is overseeing that. I think we've got about 20 men that are signed up, uh, but you do need to get signed up so we know you're going, but it, there's no cost to this at all. Uh, the church bus will leave about eight o'clock on Saturday. And then let me just transition real quick to MCA enrollment. And again, I know you're hearing this every week, but now is the time to get registered. Uh, early registration is already passed, meaning uh, we are opening opening it up this week uh, to others who have been on a waiting list. So Shenandoah families, uh, if your kids are already in MCA and you have not registered, don't lose your spot. Can I just talk to you a minute about MCA? Uh, we have in-person classes. We have not been like the public schools and, you know, every other day is virtual or, you know, two to three days a week uh, virtual and then in-person. Uh, we, we set our own agenda here. And uh, we feel that in-person classroom teaching is important. And so please uh, see the, the necessity uh, of getting your kids back in school and also for them to have a Christian, a thoroughly Christian education. A Becca curriculum, uh, a proven, proven commodity. Uh, even during COVID, we have really focused on core subjects. We felt like last spring, because we had to go virtual, uh, those kids were a little behind. And so we've kind of used this year to catch our kids up in the core curriculum. So uh, I hope you'll, you'll see the importance of that. A loving, godly, dedicated school staff. Uh, these folks love your kids. And uh, what a great, great place. Uh, a strong church foundation and a heritage of 50 years of Christian education here at MCA. So please get your kids registered for the 21-22 school year. Would you share this with the family? Maybe even refer a family uh, that maybe is looking for another option for Christian education. And then uh, let me just say uh, I am so thrilled with what God is doing here at Shenandoah. 
And I trust you'll you'll be here uh, on Wednesdays and on Sundays. I can't look for uh, looking forward to the spring as we kind of kick back in uh, our outreach programs, our bus ministry. Uh, the spring program is going to start on the 14th of March. Obviously, Easter is just around the corner on April the 4th. I'm just looking forward to the let's just busting these doors wide open, getting past COVID. It's been a year. It's time to get back to church. And so would you pray with me about that and that God would lead us and guide us and that we would see fruit that remains here at Shenandoah. Well, I've enjoyed chatting with you just a little bit. I hope you see my heart and uh, I hope that you uh, will, will know that you're loved uh, as well here at Shenandoah Bible Baptist Church. Have a great, great Tuesday. We hope to see everybody on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock.